Hey guys, welcome back to Genius Learning. All right, so this one is just a review um, from the previous example. Okay, we had 30, 45, 60 degrees and different forces attached to these strings. We found the magnitude of the force we needed and the angle in order to keep everything at equilibrium. And so we're gonna do the same here, all right? Different angles, just a little practice. And so we're gonna break this one up here right into two we're gonna break this one up here into two components right that means that we no longer have the blue one if we're breaking it up into FX FY okay same here and then same here okay so now so like the other one let's look at the FX this is the X and this is the X here. So now let's do the sum of forces. Okay, sum of forces in the X direction. And let's put these three highlighted spots. All right, remember that everything is at equilibrium, so it's gonna be equal to zero. So what do we got? We have, um, for F1 here, we have uh, 250, which is the hypotenuse times cosine of 28. Okay, over here, we have opposite over hypotenuse. So 550 times sine of 45. And here we have adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's 450 times cosine of 54. Okay, so let's write that down. We have a positive, we have a positive 250 cosine of 28. I'm going to write above the highlighter. I'm an idiot. And these markers don't write through the highlighter when they're wet. So, so this one's positive. All right. This one right here is negative. So we're going to put negative 450 times cosine of 54. All right. That's a 54 in there. And then finally, we got this one, which is also negative, right? So we got negative 550 times the sine of 45. Okay, going a little quick here because we've already done one. So we got all our X's, right? And we're going to put the sum of them, right, as negative 393.17. And that's in grams since these forces here in grams right the 250 the 450 the 550 the end result is going to be also in grams so we have our sum of forces in the x direction now our sum of forces in the y direction all right let's use uh we can use pink and we got this here okay which i'll write sideways too we got this here Okay, we go right there, and we also have this here. All right, so now let's write that in. All right, so now let's do, this one here is gonna be opposite over hypotenuse. So we got 250 times the sine of 28, okay? And then here, we got adjacent over hypotenuse. So I'm gonna write that sideways. That's gonna be F2. Adjacent is cosine. I'm sorry, F2 is equal to 550. So let's write, hold on a second. Let's write 550 times cosine of 40, is that three? 43, yeah. Oh, this should be three, sorry. Thought that was a, this one here should be 43. That's fine, because I calculated it with 43. So I just wrote 45 by accident, but I really calculated this with 43. Okay, anyway, so this one is adjacent, right, over hypotenuse, which is the cosine opposite over hypotenuse. We already did that. Okay, so now we got one, we got two. Now let's do this one. This is opposite over hypotenuse. So we got 450. Opposite is sine, so sine of... 54. Okay, so now we're going to put all three together. 
we see that these two up here are above the zero, so they're gonna be positive. So that's 250 times sine of 28 plus 550 cosine of 43. And then this one down here is minus because it's below the zero. So we're gonna put negative 450 sine of 54. Okay, all that equals to zero. And then when we put this in the calculator, we're gonna get Fy is equal to 155 grams. Okay, perfect. We got both things that we wanted, right? The sum of forces in the X component, sum of forces in the Y component. Now, let's choose wisely. Yeah. And now we're gonna do the magnitude, right? So now we're trying to find this. How much weight we need to put on that to balance everything out. So we wanna use the magnitude equation. We got fx squared plus fy squared. Right, when we put fx in here, we got negative 393.17 squared plus 155 squared, right? And that's gonna give us a magnitude of, we're gonna get 422, and that's in grams. Okay, perfect. So that's how much weight we gotta put here all right, to balance things out, but at what angle? And so now the final part is the angle. So we're gonna use um, tangent theta is equal to y over x, all right? We're gonna solve for theta. So we got theta is equal to tangent inverse. Instead of y, we're gonna write fy. Instead of x, we're gonna write fx, okay? So we're gonna use this. So we have theta is equal to inverse tangent of Fy, which is 155 grams. And then we got Fx, which is negative, so negative 393.17 grams. Okay, put this in the calculator and we're gonna get an angle of negative 21.5 degrees. This should be degrees up here. Okay, so negative 21.5. I remember from the previous video what I, what I said about the negative. All right, so the negative sign is gonna give us direction. So we're gonna start from here, right? Theta up is positive, theta going down is negative. So we got theta is equal to 21.5 degrees. Okay, that's the, the theta that we found. And we don't write negative because negative is just telling us the direction that we're gonna go in. Okay, so make sure you just write positive 21 degrees. And then the force, the amount of force that we have to put here is gonna be 422, 422 grams with 21.5 degrees. Okay, so if we put this much weight at this angle, then all these three forces will be at equilibrium. They'll be balanced out, okay? So it was just a quick little review from the previous problem. All right, hope it helped.